Hey, Turtle Pope, what am I playing? So I am still playing Enshrouded. I'm playing this with my friends. I'm playing it on PC. So I don't have too much really to say this week about Enshrouded. Um, we're plugging along, and I, I guess the one thing that I would say is I'm a little bit concerned. This, I very much feel like we're going to run out of content. Before the game is released and more content is added, I have a feeling we're running out of content. But we did just beat the Wyvern. It is a Wyvern. Uh, the thing that, that is basically blocking your progress into the desert area. We beat that for myself and for another friend of mine. I think I put it in the last week's video. Uh, the third friend, we haven't gotten him there yet, but we should this week. But yeah, I don't have too much else to say. Um, I, I had a big migraine this last week, and so I didn't actually... Uh, I only spent maybe two days playing in Shrouded, so we didn't really make much progress, which kind of sucks. Hopefully this next weekend we'll have some time and we'll be able to devote more effort to getting us further in the game. But it is really fun. I am enjoying Enshrouded and I do recommend it pretty highly. It's it's a blast. It's a lot of fun to play. Hey, what am I playing? So I am playing From Below Pocket. This is a Game Boy game. It's a Game Boy Color game. I am playing it both on my Analog Pocket and on an original Game Boy Color. So From Below Pocket is a little strange. And if I'm completely honest, I, uh, I don't remember where or why I bought this. Um, I did a little bit of searching through my inbox to try to figure out where this came from. Um, and I think it's something that I kickstarted, but I can't find any record about it on my Kickstarter account, so maybe not. But if you're looking at the video right now, uh, you might be thinking, hey, this is just Tetris. Why are we talking about Tetris? Well, it is Tetris, but it's got an extra gimmick to it, an extra little wrinkle. And that gimmick is that there's some sort of, like, Kraken-style octopus monster, some sea creature that is attacking the board as you're playing Tetris. And he's reaching his tentacles up through the board and pushing the pieces and messing up all of your perfect stats. So, in addition to playing a normal game of Tetris, you also have to deal with this sea creature that's just messing up your board and trying to wreck your, your Tetrises. Now, if I'm honest, um, this extra little gimmick of the sea creature reaching up, I don't know if, it, if it's really implemented great. It's its not particularly challenging to thwart the sea creature. You know, basically he moves really, really slow and all you have to do is get a Tetris that eliminates the row that intersects with his tentacle and that causes him to retreat for a moment. So he's not a real big threat. It doesn't really add a whole lot of extra challenge to the game. Honestly, it's basically just Tetris, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but you know, it's got this extra added little, I'm not sure I'd say it's an annoyance because again, it's not that hard to deal with, but it's also not really particularly uh, challenging to encounter it. But all that being said, you know, it's a fun little game. I'm enjoying it. I don't regret, you know, kickstarting it or purchasing it or however else I, I got it. I don't remember how I got it, but it's pretty fun. I'm enjoying it and uh, you know, if you're really looking for another Tetris clone, you want to try something with a unique spin on the idea, well, this is not bad. It's it's okay. Hey, what am I playing? So I am playing Traumatorium on the Game Boy. Uh, I am playing this mostly on my analog pocket, although I'm also playing it on a real original hardware Game Boy. So this is a game that I kickstarted. I, I, I kickstarted it sometime last year. I, I kind of forgot when it was. And, but the basic idea behind the game, it's a it's a randomized dungeon crawler. I'm not sure I'd really say that it's roguelite, although it definitely has roguelite elements. But it's a randomized dungeon crawler in a first person perspective view where your goal is to basically go through these randomized dungeons and defeat a boss at the end. And as you go along through the dungeons, you stop room by room 
and evaluate what you need to do in the room. Generally speaking, your options are to search or to just leave the room without searching or stop and you know, drink a potion, eat some food, etc., etc. And there's a tremendous number of randomized rooms to select from, spread across several different zones. And honestly, they're pretty cool. A lot of the interactions are pretty fun. The game is 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 good. Um, I'm not saying that I regret uh, kickstarting it, but I will admit I've only had it for about 24 hours and I've already beaten the game. I know it's something you're intended to replay again and again. But, you know, other than doing like a score attack, I don't really see a whole lot of reason to keep playing it. It's the sort of thing where once you've seen all of the different rooms, you know, what else is there? But it is fun, and uh, it's an enjoyable little game. It's a, it's a little game, like I said. I beat it in about less than 24 hours. If I'm honest, it probably took me about two hours to beat the thing, and that was going at a pretty leisurely pace. But it's the sort of thing where once you have bought the best weapon in the game, and you've got the shield and the helmet. Like, the game is kind of cake. But it is pretty fun, and I am enjoying it. And, uh, you know, if you could find it from Broke Studios, and you're looking for a good dungeon-crawling role-playing game on your Game Boy in the year 2024, I mean, you could do a lot worse. It's a fun game, and I am enjoying it. Even though it's short. It's definitely a short but sweet experience. And it's fun. I enjoyed it.